Okay, back at the Starlight Drive-In, I figured out how to vacuum hopper an up belt so you no longer have jams. And I figured out how to put vacuum hoppers up to each other. Basically just move stuff. But I'm at Starlight, and this is going to be the start of my factory. I'm going to have three per layer, eight stories tall for the 24 of the recycling. Going to have it shoot down over here. I built this once. I just started over. So this thing's half scrapped. Let me see. Mods I'm using are STC, STS for the scrapping. Crimson Riders, convenient power and electricity. And of course, manufacturing overhauled for the builders, scrappers. And the Goldsmith mod, which we'll get into a little bit later. Basically, I get asked a lot of questions, so I tried to explain it as simple as I could. But in each of these, everybody will agree, circuitry, crystal, glass. I pull a lot of cork out of there sometimes too, and wood. Like to when they go up the conveyor belt get stacked up here so I put 10 of them in each one and I also threw in five vault jumpsuits to show the difference between <coughs> how I set it up to suck and using just your standard belts how it won't suck And over here, I just did half of them. I'm trying to remember what I did when I set it up. Um, oh, this one's the show. If you go too far in, in a minute I'll get to it. But if it touches that, it won't work. Up here is using standard stuff. And we'll hear it stacking and clinking right here. Over here... I moved the belt just two spaces in, which I'll get into, and it's just barely touching this little part here. You can go two or one in, and it works. I believe one works too. Just as long as this isn't inside here, you should be all right. But let's turn them on and see. <coughs> circuitry no stacking well, vault tet suits didn't stack now watch this thing make a liar out of me but hmm no I don't think it is here it's If you listen, you can hear it stacking up. Well, it got some of it, but I guarantee the count's going to be off. There's going to be stuff stuck in there. But anyway, this one was done by using... Just off that, a standard... We agree that's a two-space belt, right? one sorry and that won't go in there but it will there and that's how I got it butted up like that now if I come over here to what I did that one's still going I have a feeling there's stuff stuck in there We'll find out with the end totals. Anyway, here's what I did. There's the same thing and another belt, right? So if I take this out, these little laser trip wires, I learned I can move a belt anywhere I want with that down on it. Watch this. One, two. 
that's how I set that up. I'm not gonna grab a new one, but we'll take this one. And now that vacuum hopper is right in there. You can even do it on that one, I think works too. <coughs> Might mess with your factory a little bit, but let's see our totals. Tens across the board with the five. Uh-oh, eight, eight, five, eight. Where'd they go? Oh, look, they're all jammed up. Now, let's turn this one on because what I did over here was I moved it in three. See how it's touching there? And I, yeah, it's too close. So it's blocking everything from going up. So I think everything will be stuck here. We'll check back on that in a minute. Just get you out of my way. And that one was, so let's see, we originally started like this, right? Do, do, do. Come on, get out of my way. And I moved it up. One, two. But now if I move it up one more for the three. Oh hell, it won't even go, there it goes. That's what put it right there, which you don't want. And over here, how many times have you been building? I'm gonna do the same thing over here. And oh no, you got room over here, right? But then you get down near the wall and we'll agree that that's a straight one again. Crap, I'm near the wall and this won't go in. I know a lot of times these won't go in. You got to take the wall out, put it in, then you can put the wall back in. But using that same trick, if I pull this over, take this one out. One, two. That makes it a hole, right? I guess I could have put a hole one in there, but look. Now I'm inside my wall. What happened down here though, is it moved the rest of my factory. But, I should still, yep, inside the wall. Over here in my factory, you notice I had the two vacuum hoppers butted up off my builder. I placed this so I got room to put my laser trip wires, which you'll see later or you've seen before. I put one of these down just cause the feet, I don't know, make it look goofy. A large one and a small one. Did I delete that? No, I did not. So what we do here is the same thing. I put this right here and if I go, <coughs> sorry, let's see here. Well, this don't quite, will not suck out what's left over in that, but I move it into one, two, voila, lines up perfectly with that. And if I want, take that out I put another one in it just happens to butt them up perfectly so this one's off it'll shoot out let's say I'm breaking down steel it'll shoot out all the steel into this one this one's constantly running so as soon as the steel goes in it'll suck it out when this thing's done my laser trip wires or you can throw a switch to turn this one on and it'll suck everything left over out Let's see, we gotten all that. Oh, while I'm at it, this is half tore up. I don't know if he'll ever see it, but I was talking to Tim Timman about the STC and the right here. You can see the light, movable static. I scrap it. 
the movable static. Then I scrap the light. And of course it's not night. But I'm pretty sure that the light stays down there. Damn it. Maybe I should just make him a video at night. Same thing here. There's movable static for the light source. But he did bring out the point that pretty sure that light's still there. Let's see if I can put a shadow. Yeah, you can see the light's still there. Well, we even scrap this one. But he did bring up an interesting point that the light sources may be underground, pointed up. That's why I can't scrap them. But anyway, over here, using my goldsmith mod, I've got 40 gold in here. This packaging plant's going to turn it into five gold bars and one gold bar. Sorry. Then if I take that one gold bar and put it in there, that will then break that down into five gold bars. But what I wanted to show was I got asked a question. I like the Crimson Rider convenient power and electricity with the switches. But on an earlier build, I had this double vacuum hopper set up. I basically just switched from the two I had because I couldn't remember which ones I had to an X or gate which if you have one power in or two powers in it will not output any power if you have one power in it will which this is the power that's always on and then I've got this one hooked up to here so now that I've got vault jumpsuits in there just something different than gold if I flip this switch the box is here box is here it turns off this switch turns off this however through the logic gate it turns this vacuum hopper on which you just saw took the vault jumpsuits and we'll run them down and around and pick up my five gold bars because they're worth like 2,000, right? Five gold bars value 9,000. But I think when you go to sell them, they're worth like seven or something. I mean, it's infinite money. Now, it'll half make another gold bar, but if you look, it's counting them down. It's also sucking, see it's sucking the gold and the gold bars gold bar gold 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 so what I need to do is flip this switch oops which I got everything hooked up to <laughs> but anyway now it's shooting the gold bars it's still breaking down I'm making out this vacuum I hope that cleared up some questions now up here Let's say you want to make a tower or a chute like I had to like catch stuff from an upper level just so you know you're going maybe three four I'm going eight stories tall well if you've got manufacturing overhaul I didn't use a crimson rider box just in case somebody didn't have that but this fuse box right well let's hook it to the shit won't hook to the hopper um, well, maybe if I pull the hopper out, there we go. Will it go back in? No, it won't go back in. Son of a bitch. I figured this one out too. Come on, scrap that damn wire. Ah. Oh, come on. Pissing me off. There we go. Well, maybe 
it's a problem with the walls. Right? So let's put this in. Rewire it. Or maybe we can get these walls back in. No, damn walls won't go back in. I mean, it should connect to that. Will it connect in front? Nope. Okay. <coughs> I'm sure you guys have tried this. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. But, if we take the switch, I learned... Oh, it'll connect there. And then... I got these both ways. That back corner. Look like a little. It's even tighter inside the thing now. So there's no way that's going to go back in there, right? Not being powered up. Because as you can see, that's even more inside the hole. So if you want to put a hopper in a corner, that's what you do. Oh, let's see. That one was past three. Yep. Still got crap. It sucks some crap out. But, oh, look at all that. Now I gotta clean up on aisle three. But, anyway. Like I said. Record speaks for itself. Perfect ten. And this stuff, just look at that wood cork. Glass. Eight, eight, five. So, there you have it. I got asked if I could use my butt up trick to suck it out. And I said, no, I don't think so. I tried that. Then I found that little laser trip wire glitch. And might have to change your factory. Or you can just put another straight in and offset the difference with another vacuum hopper but there's no more running around checking these things for missing items which I like um, that's all I got for now this is other crap I was playing with but this factory will be eight stories tall <clears throat> let it only be one two three four five six by one two three four five which there's still a little room along here which in my opinion is pretty damn small but it's gonna be tall my goal was to try and build something in hangman's alley and then when i figured it out and got there all the damn power lines that run through there will be running right through my building they won't affect anything but they'll be there and annoy the shit out of me so that's all I got till next time. Later.